Hi mates! Today I'm going to make a super mega cool machine you might find quite interesting. It has an unusual design so stay with me. Now I will demonstrate you the parts I'm going to use in this machine. These are the parts I brought with me. Well, I will change my clothes quickly and let's get back to work. Such a funny frame I made here. I don't know why I made it in square shape instead of rectangular as I planned initially. Another plan has gotten into my head, but I'll fix it in the blink of an eye. Well, that's the way it shall be. I'm quite the handyman, right? I'm a
It's all done with the mechanical part of the machine. The disc is spinning, I've already balanced it with the gouge. I didn't shoot that, but I'm sure you will sort it out. It isn't complicated at all. Now, let me tell you a bit about the tilt mechanism and the machine in general. This disc is 45 centimeters in diameter. I made it so big on purpose, as in reviews for factory machines, I saw quite often that it is not always comfortable to work with small discs, so I decided to make it this big. As for the tilt mechanism, it works the same way as the one in my sawing machine. Look what a great machine I did, but I'm not going to stop at this point. I'm planning to cover this machine with 6mm plywood boards all over. Then I need to connect an on-off button, glue the sandpaper to the circle and check how it works. So don't go anywhere. Enough, I'm exhausted from editing. Basically the machine is ready. I fit all the other steps in just a few seconds, so watch the compilation and let's test the machine.